Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, types of internal tables and under that we will continue sorted internal table and we already covered the first three points, especially for the third point, we did so much explanation. Now I will come on to the fourth point. In case of sorted internal table, your data is already in the sorted order. There is no need to use sort statement. In case of your standard internal table, yes, data is not sorted by default there. So you need to use the sort statement. Here, you are using insert statement to insert the records to standard internal to the sorry you are using insert internal table operation to insert that data to sorted internal table anyways your data is already in the sorted order word itself is saying we have a sorted internal table so there is no need to sort explicitly nothing the data is already in the sorted order. There is no need to use sort statement. Now we will come on to next point. Next point is similar to which we covered in standard internal table. We can read a record based upon key also. We can read a record based upon index also. Suppose if I will go for same to same logic here. Suppose I am writing read table. What is internal table? What is our sorted internal table? LT underscore data into work area. Suppose I am writing with key. I am supposed, supposed specifying order number is equal to 4. We all know we should always, always write size sub RC check after read table. Now I will go for write statement. So we are reading a record from sorted internal table based upon key. Order number. Payment. Now we can read a record based upon index also. So I will copy the logic. This is all same to same in case of standard also. In standard internal table also, you can read based upon key, you can read based upon index. Suppose I am writing index. Five. Now I will show you the output of both in the debugging mode. Now I will put a breakpoint onto this read table statement. I'll go to desktop three. Currently I am on fifty six number line. It means the insertion logic to the, the inserting the records to the internal table logic executed. This internal table has five records. All this is in sorted order. Now we are specifying order number is equal to four. Order number is equal to four. So yes, it will check. Into this internal table, do we have a order number four? Yes. So from the internal table, this record will go to work area. And you can see size sub RC zero. So we have the order number four and the payment mode C. Now we are reading the internal table based upon index index. And which index we specified? Fifth index. This is the record on the fifth index. So this record from the internal table will go to work area. Size sub RC0. And you can see 
now we have the order number five and the payment mode C. On the fifth index, we have order number five and C. Now you can see we have the output. This is with the help of T. This is with the help of index. Anyways, these records are with the help of loop only. Now next point. This point, yes, there is no need to go for short statement covered. We can read based upon key or index. Now we will come on to next point. Binary search is used to search a record. See, in case of standard internal table, you have a linear search. If you want a binary search, if you want a binary search, you use the keyword binary search, binary search. You sorted the internal table, standard internal table, and you used binary search. But in case of your sorted internal table, it is automatically working on binary search itself. There is no need to use the keyword binary search at all because data is sorted and sorted internal table works on binary search. So if someone asks you standard internal table go, can go for both type of search, linear search, binary search. By default, it is linear search only, but you can go for binary search by using the keyword binary search but sorted always always there is a binary search itself so whenever suppose if i will show you in the debugging mode when we searched for order number four into this internal table when we searched for order number four sap used binary search sap looked for the SAP look for the middle element. What is the middle element? This is the middle. This is the middle element. 4 is greater than 3. So SAP automatically checked in the lower half, lower half. So this in case of stand sorted internal table, there is no need to write binary search. Nothing. It is working on binary search only. Now, I will come on to next point. Yes, sorted internal table. I will say response time is faster. It is faster as compared to standard internal table because in case of sorted, it always works on binary search. Just listen what the point I am saying. In case of sorted internal table, performance is better as compared to standard internal table because it always works on binary search. But now the question, we can apply binary search in standard internal table also, no problem. If there is a linear search in standard internal table and binary search in sorted internal table, then we will say yes, in case of sorted performance is good better yes but if we will go for binary search with standard internal table then there is no problem of performance yes because at that time standard internal table also will work on binary search so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we covered rest of the points sorted internal table is already in the sorted order. There is no need to explicitly write sort statement. In case of sorted internal table, also we can read a record based upon key or index. No problem at all. It is same as that of standard. Now, in case of sorted internal table, the search is always, always binary, always binary. Now, response time is faster, yes, because it always work on binary search. But if we will compare it to standard, standard by default is on linear search. So, it response time is slow at that point of time. 
but if you will use the keyword binary search, yes, we can improve the performance. Now, last point. Many times, yes, participants ask we should go for standard or we should go for sorted. Standard internal table is the most, most popular internal table, most easiest way to declare an internal table, simple. If I will go for standard and sorted, in case of sorted, your data is in sorted order. Yes, your, your binary search is already there. But just see, in case of standard also, you can do same to same thing. If you want to sort, just do, just apply sort internal table operation. If you want to go for binary search, use binary search the keyword. Anyways, it's totally your wish how you want to go. But I will say sorted internal table. One advantage which I see at the maximum level is which I show you. While declaring itself, while declaring whatever the key you will specify, if I will show you. While declaring, you specified the key. Whatever the key you will specify. So if you are going for insertion of wrong records also, internal table will not accept. Suppose we told unique key order number and we tried to insert a order number one again. Internal table has not accepted. So this is the main, main advantage of a sorted internal table. It will not go for any wrong data or something. Yes. But if you go for standard internal table, it will accept everything, everything. Because at that time we know we have not told unique or non-unique key. In case of sorted, we are specifying unique and non-unique key. In the next video, we will go for hashed internal table. Then we will compare all three types of internal tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.